In this presentation, I'm gonna help you understand the most critical factors to help you jump higher and gain strength intelligently and give you an inside look at the Vert and Strength program, right? You're gonna understand why the Vert and Strength athletes are consistently adding three plus inches on their spike touch. And what I'm just showing you over here is athletes that have done the program showing you significant spike touch improvements. Like Julie hit a PB of touching 10, one and a half. This is crazy. This is a 14 year old touching 11.2. 11.2 is about the average spike touch height of a university outside. This athlete hit 11 feet for the first time. Ariel, which you're going to see next, touched 9.4. So she was starting two months ago at 9.1. So a pretty big vertical improvement. Anyways, let's get into the presentation. This is what I'm going to be covering during the presentation. First, I'm going to go over who I am. Then I'm going to give you an actual inside look at the Vert and Strength program. I'm going to showcase real results of Vert and Strength athletes making massive improvements. I'm going to explain to you the no-nonsense approach to jump higher and get stronger. This is really important. You simply knowing this is your first step to actually jumping higher. And then if so happens that you want to train with me, I'm going to give you the next steps on how to work with me. Let's keep going. When I was in high school, I was the short, skinny volleyball player that did not jump high. And I was really insecure that I didn't jump high. So when I was 16 years old, I wanted to make a change. So what I started doing is I started running three miles a day and started doing a jump routine on the cement. And I managed to jump zero inches higher and develop patellar tendonitis, which is an overuse injury of the knee. So although I was motivated, I was disciplined, I was just doing all the wrong things, right? For me, things didn't actually start to change until I was 17 years old. And that's when I started working with the strength coach and ended up gaining eight inches of my spike touch over one year. That following year is when I made the Canadian national team for beach volleyball. So that year of training working with a strength coach put me from off the radar onto the national team. I uh, ended up going to York University where I studied kinesiology. And as you can see here, I used to jump high. At the peak of my volleyball career, I was jumping 43 and a half inches. I have been a strength conditioning coach for 13 years, working specifically with volleyball athletes. I launched the Vert and Strength program, which is this online program, right at the beginning of COVID. And since that period of time, there's been 113 high school age volleyball players do this specific program that have gone on to sign an NCAA Division I scholarship. Sophie Bukovic, I helped train from the university level to finishing second at the World Championships for beach volleyball and competing in the past Olympics. She's actually the athlete that you'll see in most of the video demos. It's mostly her doing the exercise and me explaining what she's doing. So who is this program for? It's for volleyball players that are serious about jumping higher and gaining strength intelligently. There's kind of three different groupings of athletes that do the training. There are high school age volleyball players that want to go on and play university or college level volleyball. There's college and professional volleyball players that need their training really optimized based on their competition schedule and the different seasons they're in. And then there's also recreational players that want to train like a professional volleyball player. So what I'm gonna do now is give you an inside look at the Vert and Strength program. So over here, you can see the app, right? And this is just showcasing a workout. So in the workout, every exercise, you have a video demo, a place to you know record your results. You can add videos to get your exercise execution analyzed. So what I'm gonna do next is actually show you a client. So what I wanna do here is just showcase a workout. So this is Ashley, and this is what I see when she completes a workout, right? So she can add, you know, she can film a set of the exercise and get feedback. She can track her results. Uh, and this part is huge because this is what allows me to personalize her training. Like, how do I know what is ready to program for? Well, I'm able to communicate with her. She can track her results. You know, she can add videos to get direct feedback, right? So she's doing a full body. It's a, a speed and power based workout that you can see here. Uh, and now you can see down here, I send her a message back with, you know, the technical adjustments I would like to see her make with the exercise. And this just sends her information right to her app. Okay, so this athlete is Ayana. She's a 16-year-old volleyball player and already training with the U.S. national team, which is pretty cool. So you can see this week she has a full body workout on Wednesday. Thursday she is off. Friday she's doing a lower body strength and power-based workout. Saturday's an upper body and core workout. And then Sunday she's doing like an easy recovery routine. But you can see the next week her training changed. She now trained on Monday, Wednesday, and did a recovery routine on Friday. And that's because she has a tournament on the weekend. So you can see I'm personalizing her training on a week-to-week -week basis. And this is really critical because volleyball players have different schedules on a week-to-week -week basis, right? Some weeks you have a tournament, some weeks you don't. Uh, this is her first workout. In her first workout, there's certain movements I want to analyze. This is one of them here. But you can see this is what allows me to kind of start to learn more about her, right? I can see her movement patterns. And you can see she's a very long athlete, right? She has very long legs. So there's going to be certain exercises and certain ways that we execute things. They're going to be a little bit different from another athlete. 
So this athlete's name is Axel, and I want to show you just this messenger here. So this is where we can communicate. So he, when I send him a message, it just sends him a push notification to his phone, and same thing when he sends me a, a, a message as well. But if you look at this, uh, our recent communication, this week and next week, I have no volleyball practice, so it's time to crank up the workouts. I want to work out as much as I can. So this is a really important thing that we can regularly communicate, right? Because I can ramp up his chain, training. I can adjust his training on a week-to-week -week basis. This athlete here is named Christian, and what I'm going to show you here is just what I call a check-in, okay? And so Christian started this training a year and a half ago. He actually had knee surgery two years ago, and it's crazy because he's jumping close to 40 inches now. So this is called a check-in. I send this to my athletes about every two weeks to learn more about them. Ask them questions like, are you feeling any pain or discomfort? Are you improving? How is volleyball going? Two things you could be improving on. How is your body currently doing? So what this allows me to do is just extract information from the athlete so I can make the future workouts even better. Another thing that makes the Vert and Strength program unique is my clients can actually add in volleyball clips so they can get you know their volleyball movement patterns analyzed. And this is super helpful because it allows me to one, give the athlete feedback, like here are some things to focus on and to think about when you do this next time to help you improve, but also allows me to see certain attributes like, you know, some of these jumps, he looks like he's getting off the ground a little bit too slow. Well, I know what attribute that is and how to train it. So it's just another layer of personalization that I can add because I can tell you the truth. When you really make big improvements on your volleyball specific movement patterns, but then also improve your physical attributes like your strength, your power and speed, that's when massive improvements happen. And that's why you see a lot of the vert and strength athletes make really significant improvements. Okay, so what I want to do is showcase some real results of the Vern Strength Athletes. These are conversations directly out of the app. So Addison says, I had a tournament this weekend and just wanted to say thank you so much for your workouts. Me as well as the others are noticing how much higher I'm jumping, faster I'm hitting, and more explosive I've got. Elliot is jumping or touching six inches higher. Nathaniel touched 11, 2.5. So it's 11 feet, two and a half inches for the first time. It's a five and a half inch improvement starting the program. Cade is touching three inches higher in two months. Olivia says, thank you so much for your programming. It's really helped the vertical. The best part is how my body is holding up with all the jumping higher. Now this is critically important. It's not just about jumping higher. We need to build a body that's better designed for volleyball. That means you can do more jumping, more arm swings with less likelihood of developing an overuse injury, right? Layla gained three and a half inches on her spike touch. Once again, these are short periods of time. Now, Rowan gained, well, she went from 9.7 to 9.10, almost touching 9.11. Andrew had a massive improvement. He went from touching 10 feet to 10.8. That's over a longer period of time, maybe like 10 months or a year, but that's over a longer period of time. But gaining eight inches on your spike touch in a year is absolutely game changing. And then Ariel says, I just want to let you know my hitting has gotten so much better since you've given me those tips. I feel so much more powerful when I'm jumping as well. I'll send you some clips when I get them. So one of the things that I do, as I showed you earlier, is I can see volleyball players, their exercise execution, or they can send me some volleyball clips, and I can give you some quick tips that might help you get some quick improvements. And that's what happened with Ariel here. We were just actually, I gave her a tip on how to time her arm drive better on her approach jump, and immediately she was jumping a little bit higher. So now I want to explain the most important things for you to understand when it comes to jumping higher. Now there's multiple things that help you jump higher. There's actually six really important factors, okay? You need to know all six. Number one is you need to be getting stronger. Like you increasing your strength essentially increase the capacity of how much higher you could jump if you improve on these other areas. The second area is you need to get technically better at the skill of jumping. Like jumping is a skill, right? So if you can learn to accelerate faster in your approach, have a faster arm drive, better body positions, like jumping is a skill. And if you can get better at the skill of jumping, you can jump a lot higher. The third category is your power output. That's your ability to apply force quickly. So you could get stronger and maybe not jump higher unless we get technically better at jumping and become more powerful. Then the fourth category is improving what's called your stretch shortening cycle. So if you ever watched a volleyball player when they approach and jump, they just get off the ground super quick. Well, that's because they have an efficient stretch shortening cycle. So essentially what happens when your feet hit the ground before you jump, your Achilles tendon lengthens and then wraps response. That response is what actually helps you get off the ground quicker. So that's called your stretch shortening cycle. So that's a trainable quality. You know when you see boxers in movies and they're always doing like skipping? Skipping is actually a tool that's used to help train your stretch shortening cycle. Those boxers are trying to be lighter on your feet. Once again, that's a trainable quality. 
The fifth category is you need to be healthy. Like there needs to be a long-term focus with your training that I'm trying to build a body better designed for volleyball. And that means a body that can tolerate more of the volleyball stress, stress, which is jumping, landing, heavy arm swings. And then the sixth category is body composition. Now that's your ratio between lean muscle mass to fat mass, or, you know, we all have a more optimal weight range when it comes to jumping higher, right? And so for some athletes, this is going to be more important. For some younger athletes, this is going to be a less important thing. But these are the categories, okay? So now you need to analyze these categories and in the Vert and Strength Program, I help you with this and figure out what categories are you excelling in most and what ones are you not doing as well in? Because say you're an athlete that's really strong and you're not jumping higher and you're doing a lot of strength work, but you're not doing a lot of power work or work to work in your jump technique, maybe that's the reason why you're not jumping higher. Or maybe you're an athlete that does a lot of jump technique training, you do a lot of explosive like quick twitch, stretch shortening cycle training, but you don't do enough strength training, you're weak, right? So it's actually how do you fill up these buckets properly so that you can maximize your results. So if you're someone that's been training a lot and you're not making these big improvements, it's normally a misalignment of these trainable attributes. Now it goes a little bit deeper than this, okay? So we know the six things that are critical to help you jump higher, but that actually has to be optimized based on your volleyball schedule. So when volleyball is really busy, you gotta understand you're already doing a lot of jumping, right? And if you wanna jump high, higher, do you need to do a lot more jumping? No, you only need to do the most important jumping base exercise, but you need to focus on other areas like your strength and power output. So with the Vert and Strength program, I'm not only personalizing the training for you based on you know your development level, your training experience, and kind of where you're at, but I'm also optimizing your training so it complements your volleyball. And this is what's going to help you get a lot greater results over the long term. So what are the steps to actually join the Vert and Strength program? So the first step is to fill out a quick two minute application and you can do that at reads-workouts.com. There'll be a button there that prompts you to fill out that application. That's just so I can learn more about you. Then after you fill out the application, you're gonna be redirected to a page where you can book in for a complimentary Zoom strategy session with me. Yes, we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one call and during that call, we're gonna discuss your goals, your training experience, injuries. Like I wanna get to know your situation better and then we're gonna strategize together about the, the best process for you to move through so you can make a big vertical and strength improvement. There's so much value just simply in this complimentary Zoom call. And then after the Zoom call, you can decide whether you want to move forward with the training or not. And then the third step is if you want to do it, start training and receiving ongoing first class support by me, Coach Reed Hall. Like I really take a lot of pride and care to make sure my athletes receive awesome results. So I wanna take you through the different workout packages and what's included in the pricing. So there's two different package options. There's a 90 day package and there's a six month package. With both packages, it's all customized programming. Like I can program for you on a day to day basis, on a week to week basis. Like I'm on the app every single day. So I'm there to personalize your training based on how well you're doing, but also your volleyball schedule. You have unlimited message for me so you can message me whenever you want. You have unlimited video analysis. So that can be both exercise execution or volleyball clips. You have the ability to track all your metrics in the app, so the weight you use, the reps performed, the difficulty of the exercise. We can like measure your vertical ongoing and track it in the app as well. And then there's this final category called one-on-one -on -one coaching, and that's basically your ability to book in for extra Zoom calls with me. So with the 90-day package, you can book in for one extra Zoom call. With the six-month package, you get unlimited Zoom calls. So basically, you get a link to my calendar, you can see them available, and you can book in. Now, whenever you have any quick questions, you just send me a message in that. But say you want to strategize about something at length, that would be a good opportunity to set up a Zoom call. Maybe that's to strategize about your workouts or discuss nutrition or to look at a bunch of your volleyball clips and give you direct feedback. Or maybe it's to look at some of your exercise execution clips and give you direct feedback. But those Zoom calls are there for you as you need them. Now, the pricing for the training, the 90-day program is $750 US dollars, or you can pay in two installments of $400. So it'll bill you $400 up front and $400. 400 a month later. With the six month package and you get the unlimited Zoom calls, there's just one option and it's 1200. So once again, if this is something you're at all interested in, the next step is to book in that complimentary Zoom call with me. If you've already set up your complimentary Zoom call with me, and if you think this pricing is not affordable or this, this program doesn't seem like the right fit for you, just send me an email and we can cancel our Zoom call that'll hook you up with something for free. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you staying for the entirety of this presentation and I really hope I get to help you in the future. I'll see you later.